as we move towards getting back into production, um, especially those of us in the news business that we're probably going to be doing this on the early side. I've already got a couple of things on the calendar coming up, which is woohoo. That's fantastic news. Uh, but in, in celebration of that, I've put together my quick run deploy kit for making sure everybody can stay as safe as possible. It, it starts with a uh, 91% isopropyl alcohol that pretty much can do anything, anything you want with it. I use, I carry a little tub with me, the with a lid, I can put some alcohol in it, I can throw in all the bits and pieces from our, our wireless GAC that we use to, to bury mics with if you if you need to bury a mic. Or even the exposed, the, the, the windscreens and, and the clips, they all need to be soaked. An exposure to the alcohol should be at least a minute. And that goes for when you're wiping down your gear, it should be left on there for it. Let it evaporate. Don't wipe it off. Another cool trick is the Cost 11 lavalier microphone case really works well with Q-tips. It, it, it's a perfect uh, small holder for a fast deploy situation. Then I keep Clorox uh, disinfectant wipes in, in baggies so that they stay moist. These will pretty much do anything. You could you wipe your hands, you could wipe surfaces, you can wipe your mixers, cables very quickly. Uh, these things are rated at 99.9% .9 to kill germs and viruses. I have a tub of it in my van, and then I, I have this case with, with some pre-forward deployed, I would say, uh, baggies of it. If you have some or can find some, what we always use for cleaning IFBs are these 70% isopropyl alcohol pads. They really work fantastic, but the problem is they're hard to come by now. So hopefully you have a little stash left over from before the pandemic. And lastly, hand sanitizer. Hand sanitize, hand sanitize, hand sanitize. It is really important to constantly hand sanitize. For example, you, you don't just hand sanitize when you're about to put them on. You want to do this when you're packing the gear. Make sure your hands are completely sanitized before you pack this case so that it, you're not contaminating it just by packing it. As we move forward in getting production back in business, we are going to be tasked with the responsibility of making sure that we take a leadership role in, in providing a health and safe environment for capturing sound in the field. Um, we're going to be asked to do things the way we used to, and we just can't. And it, in the foreseeable future, at least until there's a vaccine, we really need to take these steps and insist upon these steps of cleaning, cleaning, sanitizing the gear. It can't just be line 10 people up and let's run them through and throw wires on them and pull them off and slap them on the next one. Um, there will be producers that are want, going to ask you to do that. And I think it's really important that we as a community don't do that.